Hey guys, welcome back to Mud and Rust Workshop. We're gonna be looking at the DeWalt uh, battery operated fan that we just purchased. Um, really purchased it to take to the ball field on the boat. You know, not really a job site fan. I'm not in construction, but uh, do plan on using it. Uh, summertime, it's getting warm. We got all stars and uh, of course the ball field in the middle of the day. Got, uh, you know, boat all summer you know, beach net fishing, where we're gonna try to keep a little bit cool anyway, especially in the summer months where not much of a breeze is blowing. But anyway, picked it up off Amazon. Uh, I think it was 87, 88 bucks, um, was on sale. I already have DeWalt batteries, so I didn't have to have any of those. But I did pick up a four amp hour uh, battery to go with it and just, I don't know, thought I needed one, I guess, for another 80 bucks. So all in, about 160 bucks. Um, just strictly the fan, 85, 90 bucks. We're gonna take a look at it, show you guys what's in the box, and uh, take a look and see how it performs. All right, everybody, here's the box the new fan came in. You can see it's the DCA 512B. This is the tool only. We've got plenty of plenty of batteries. Uh, we're gonna get it opened up and show you guys what's in the box. Then we're gonna do a little test on it while we got a, while we got a little bit of fire going. Right, as you can see, it is literally just the fan in the bag. A little bit of a instruction there, but uh, you can get it out of the bag, get a uh, battery, and test her out real quick. So we got the fan, you know, of course it's got, we'll go with, that's the kind of the lowest setting from the base. Of course it'll rotate almost all the way around. So you get close to 360 degrees. You know, obviously you can turn it around if you need to cover the rest of it, but it is variable. So you do have a low speed, which I can feel, you know, right here. This model does not have the 110 adapter like the old model, but you know, it's got several mounting options. You got some hooks here where you can mount the fan and hang the fan. You actually even have some nail slots, screw slots, so you can hang the fan as well if you want to hang it in the shop. Um, convenient carry handle, of course, well guarded which is kind of good for me because I got two boys that don't think I'm sticking their finger in anything. But it's pretty light. I mean, this is with an eight amp hour DeWalt battery, um, which adds the majority of the weight to it. Um, when you position it, it clicks really easy. It's really stable. I mean, even here on the golf cart. So, I think we're gonna enjoy it. Show you guys a little bit of testing with a little fire we got built. But uh, I think it's gonna perform well. It's gonna work well. All right, so we've got the fan loaded up. Now we have an eight amp hour battery in there. It's charged. We're gonna put it close to this fire and see how it does. So you'll be able to see the smoke is blowing kind of towards the fan. We are gonna turn it on. This is the lowest setting it comes on. You can see it changed the direction. Pretty low. As you can see it turning. This is kind of had to be real close to you to feel much. Fully blowing though. Pretty good uh pretty good airflow. And this is back around the boat trailer, probably eight foot away. Still see the smoke getting blown around. This is probably, 
I don't know, 12, 14 feet away. You don't see as much the wind catching it. Looks like There we go, a little bit. Yeah. Looks like roughly, we'll measure it here in a second, but you're gonna need to be within, you know, 10, 12 feet to actually feel the feel the wind from the fan at its highest, highest setting. But plenty close enough for a personal fan. And up close, you can see, I mean, within three foot, even get close to two foot, one foot. Oops, no mess there. It uh blows pretty good. Kick our fire back up a little bit. A little uh, I'm trying to get it in the sun so you guys can see it. A little bit of a different perspective. This is on high. You can see the air kind of casting the smoke out. I'm throwing it towards my boat, which is not good, but can see kind of the kind of the range of the of the fan a little bit anyway it's a little bit better there so it throws you know of course the closer you get the more the more strength it has but you know you can see you know that 12 15 foot range you're still feeling some breeze so I think the fan's gonna work work really really well so just for just for fun we set the fan kind of up underneath the smoke and you can see it blowing the smoke up up here you can see the airflow coming off the fan pretty good stream of air moves the moves the smoke pretty good I think we're gonna enjoy it it's gonna come in handy this summer enjoy it this we appreciate you watching mud and rust you know, like I said, we we try to bring this content occasionally and give you guys something to something to watch. Hopefully, help some folks out and uh, hopefully benefit somebody from the money that we've spent. But anyway, like I said, appreciate you watching. We appreciate all your comments and likes and subscriptions.